Hi, can I please have a Big Mac? Okay, anything else? That's it. This is a sandwich, for me four forty nine. Thank you. Okay, okay. Here we go. Big Mac time. It's been a minute. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, you too. Thank you very much. Have a good one. All right. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the video. So today we are filming another mukbang, and we have a lot of food in front of us. So. Last mukbang, you know, I didn't have the best appetite, so I feel like I can eat a little more food today. So, uh, yeah, should be, uh, oh, wait, but first, I'd like to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Coinmaster. Now, Coinmaster is a free downloadable game where you can build your village, you can raid or attack your friends, you can steal their coins, and I have to say, man, this game is really, really addicting. Coinmaster is the most downloaded game in the UK in 2019, so you guys better hurry up and hop on it. The game has amazing pets that can boost your skills, and you can also collect cards to get more prizes. And if you would love to support me and my channel, you can download Coinmaster now by clicking the link in the description box down below, and you will get 300,000 coins as well as 50 slot spins to build your first village. So much love guys. I appreciate all the love and the support. I'll see you there at Coinmaster. Okay, okay, here we go. So let me show you guys what I got. So this right here, I don't know if you guys are familiar with chorizo. So chorizo is a Portuguese sausage. It's spicy, it's made out of pork. It's extremely good. I cannot wait to eat that. And then over here, we do have the one and only Five O Donuts. We had to get two of my favorite donuts from 5 -0. So we do have a Cookie Monster and we do have a Plant City. And over here, we do have the almighty Big Mac. It's been a while since I had one of these. And over here, we do have some Tostitos chips. We have some salsa because I really do enjoy chips and salsa. We have some Stroop waffles, which I'm super stoked to be able to find these at Walmart now. So Stroop waffles, and then we also do have some wheat thins. And then in here, we do have some planta. So the new flavor is peanut butter cup, and it's super tasty, really amazing. Damn, that is good. Okay, so where do we start? Uh, we always start with donuts, so. Why not, right? So should I do Plant City or should I do Cookie Monster first? What do you guys think? I think, uh, Cookie Monster, yeah. You guys know, you guys know the drill. So here we go. Mm. Just amazing. Speechless. Oh, actually, let me pull the camera forward a little more. Because I know a few of you guys were like, can you pull the camera a little closer? How's that? Is that better? Actually, slide the table a little bit. All right. Hopefully, that's better for you guys. All right, the Cookie Monster. be right back so just give me a minute
my favorite donut. Hands down, favorite donut. Okay, so before I continue, I really want to say thank you guys so much for just all the love and the support, all of the comments and all of just like the DMs. I just really appreciate the support system. You know, it's, it's really amazing. You know, I love just making videos and I love just talking to you guys. I love interacting and for all the support that you guys give me back, it's, a, it's like what really keeps me driven. So again, thank you to all of you guys. You guys are amazing. So this next one is the Plant City strawberries, whipped cream, strawberry shortcake crumbles on top on a strawberry yeasted donut. Cheers, my friends. Mm. Ten out of ten. Mm -hmm. All I gotta say is wow. Okay, the donuts are down. So um, I know a lot of like mukbangs are supposed to be like no music, no fast forwarding, but like, you know, when I make these videos and say I'm editing, I get kind of like, kind of bored if I'm just sitting there chewing and it's just like, you know, it's like 10 or 15 seconds of just kind of not really much going on besides chewing. So I try to just zip through it really quick. You know, you guys kind of get the point of what I'm doing and chewing, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of clear that up because you know, I know a few people were like, this isn't a mukbang, but I don't know. I'm sorry. It's a little different. Okay. So moving right on to the chorizo sandwich. This stuff is amazing. I don't know if you guys have ever had linguiza. It's very similar, but it's like spicier. So it is a Portuguese sausage and I'm actually going back up north to visit and there's a lot of Portuguese families up there and there's actually the Madeira Feast, which I'm very excited to go to because it's like a big reunion. You know, I, I see so many friends I haven't seen in years. So um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. So cheers to uh, the Madeira Feast. That's seriously amazing. And I did put mustard on it. Sorry, Nate Figs. <laughs> and um, I use these potato buns, or these potato rolls. Really, really good flavor. Ooh, that is tasty. And oh, since I'm going to be back up in the Massachusetts area, maybe I could do a meetup. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm trying to think of like where I could do a meetup at. Maybe PV Donuts? That's in uh, Providence, Rhode Island. And then there's also Kane's Donuts, which is in Boston, which their donuts are really good. And then also, Rocco's. Rocco's in Millbury. That spot's really good. As well as Glazing Days. There's there's a few good donut shops out there. But again, five hours to go. I, I just really enjoy the donuts. Alright, sandwich number two. Mmm. Yeah, so last video was a cheat day, which I did film in Miami. And yes, I know like a lot of you guys really do love the cheat days because like, you know, I did like the mukbang and then people were asking, when's the next cheat day? So I did film one down in Miami, which was extremely fun. And um, yeah, I do enjoy doing like this style of video as well. And so like how I really balanced it out was just yesterday I ate slightly less and again i'm not like tracking calories or macros anymore 
So yesterday, I mean, I wasn't even as hungry either. So I just didn't really eat as much as I normally would. I just kind of like pulled back some oats from like my smoothie and I didn't have like a big dinner last night. So that's all I really did. You know, I don't do anything crazy before and after say like a cheat day or a cheat meal. And a lot of people ask me like, how do you stay in shape? It really just comes down to balance. You know, I don't have like a crazy, extremely high, fast metabolic rate. Um, I'd say my, my maintenance calories could be around like say 3,500, give or take. And that's just because I have a high work capacity. I train in the gym and I also do skate. So some days my maintenance could be around like say 3,000, 3,200, depending on what I do for the day. But then there's other days where it could be up to 4,000 because if I'm skating and training that day, then my activity level is so much higher. And so my metabolic demands are much greater. So again, it really just comes down to balance. Mm. Those sandwiches, wow, amazing. Okay, next I want to try, well, I want to have some chips and salsa. Here we go. Yeah, I like these little scoop of chips because they just make it Super easy, you know, you just scoop it up, you don't lose anything. Mm. Yeah, and I love Mexican food. I went to this restaurant down in Miami last week. Um, The tacos weren't like super big, but they were just like perfect. You know, I didn't have like much of an appetite last week. So I didn't eat as much during the cheat day, but I still enjoyed myself. But it was like three little carne asada tacos and yeah, they were just like perfect size. Like the, the tortillas were nice and soft. And then the meat was like super flavorful and juicy. Man, that was good. Yeah, so I think uh, maybe the next one I do, maybe I'll like cook at home or something. Maybe I'll make the entire meal like something that I cook. But it's like almost every cheat day or cheat meal, I have to have donuts, you know? It's just, it's literally my favorite thing to eat. Or like favorite cheat food. All right, I think this is gonna be the last chip. All right. See, that was just, just enough to satiate me, you know? I didn't have to eat the whole jar of salsa and I didn't have to eat the whole bag of chips, you know? So it's just basically out of pure enjoyment and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just enjoying this meal, talking to you guys. Let me see if I can get a little closer. How do you like that? Better? Ooh, that peanut butter cup. Yeah, so definitely check it out, guys. The link will be in the description box down below. It's called Planta Protein. And yeah, there's a huge variety of flavors. And I do have a code, SAVE10. You can save yourself some 10%. All right, moving on to the Big Mac. Big Mac attack. Ooh, it's been a while. And if you guys have been following me for a minute, you know I'm Team Burger King, but 
I haven't had this in a while, so. Bon appetito. Mmm. That mac sauce is really good. The bun is a little dry though. Yeah. Oh, and also I was wondering who's gonna be going to the Olympia in September. So I'm definitely gonna go this year. And my homie, Jonathan Arizari, he's competing again this year, so um, I'm gonna go cheer him on and maybe I can do like a meetup. I know last year I did film a cheat day out there, which was really fun. It was super hot though. All right, all right, moving down the line. Actually, I'm gonna do uh, a couple wheat fins or maybe like a handful. Why? Because if you guys haven't had wheat thins, you guys are slacking. I know it just seems like a basic old snack, but like, there's just something about them that makes them that unique. The homie Cabrera and I, like every time one of us will get like a box of these, we end up just crushing it <laughs> because it's so good. But yeah, they're like little wheat thin crackers in it. Like they have like a, like a saltiness to them too. Mm. You can use my discount code for, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's no code for the wheat thins. <laughs> yeah, these are awesome. Okay. And now, we save the best for last. Good old Stroop waffles. Okay, okay. Here we go. Yeah, guys, so, you guys have never had a Stroop waffle before. These things are amazing. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. So it's like a, I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard me speak about it before, but it's like a gingerbready, molasses, caramelly, cinnamony, like, Amazing treat. Mm. That is just excellent. Perfect word for it. Excellent. It's like buttery too. Whoever invented this, genius. Ooh, all right. I am, um, I'm pretty satisfied. But, I just want one half and I'm good. Actually, I'll just eat both. <laughs> mm. Excellent. Oh, wow. Gostosa, which is delicious in Portuguese. <laughs> Ah, 
Well, all right, my friends, that is going to be today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and be sure to check out CoinMaster. It is in the description box down below. It's a super fun but very addicting game and I think you guys would enjoy it. And so be sure to comment down below with what you did like about the video, also what you didn't like or what you would like to see in the future. So I'm having a lot of fun creating content and you know making the most enjoyable videos for you guys is my mission. You know, I like having fun. I like making videos that you guys like. And yeah, so that's gonna be today's video. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.